The Saugenetobel Bridge is a reinforced concrete arch bridge designed by renowned Swiss civil engineer Robert Maillart. It was constructed across an alpine valley in Shires, Switzerland between 1929 and 1930. In 1991, it was declared an International Historic Civil Engineering Landmark, the 13th such structure and the first concrete bridge so designated. As with his Schwanbach Bridge and Bussey Bridge, the structure's fame among civil engineers is a consequence of the techniques involved and the elegance of its design rather than its prominent location. It serves a town of about 2,500 people but has become a site of pilgrimage for designers. The bridge has received widespread attention since its innovative design and construction, including considerable praise from other bridge engineers, architects and architectural historians. David P. Billington has been particularly enthusiastic about the bridge. Its visual elegance goes together with its technical brilliance. The analysis and optimization results of the default configuration is shown here. Figure 1 shows the contour plot of the element densities. Note, small density values indicate that the element is not carrying structural loads, hence it is not needed. Low density elements are colored in blue. High density elements refer to the structural important units and are colored red. Please also note that the corner edges are fixed. Figure 2 shows the ISO surface plot of the densities, which is legend based. Figure 3 shows the ISO surface plot of the surface of equal densities, which is value based on densities between 0.3 and 1. Now support modification 1 takes place. In figure 4, the lower supports are being removed. The only supports kept are at the top of the bridge. In figure 5, the graphs show the convergence of the compliance of the original model, blue line, and the modified model, red line, which converges to a higher compliance value, producing a design proposal of reduced efficiency. For support modification 2, one support is added on the right side of the bridge, roughly at one-third of its height under the top level. For support modification 3, one additional support is added on the left side of the bridge, roughly at one-third of its height under the top level. The purpose is to balance out the initial support previously added on the right side. For support modification 4, the supports have been changed to the underside of the bridge, roughly at one-sixth within both extremities. The volume fraction ratio as an optimization design constraint defines the proportion of material to be induced into the design space. This study with decreasing volume fraction ratios shows how the structure is more and more thinned out, with only the arch remaining as a determining structural element. Consequently, the compliance value reached by the optimization is increasing with decreasing volume fraction. This additional study carried out by the supervisor illustrates the application of draw and extrusion constraints, the design proposals produced and the corresponding structural performance, using a 3D version with the supports applied corresponding to the model produced by the workshop participants. All optimization models use the same amount of material and are therefore comparable. With no constraints applied, the design proposal brings up an arch-shaped structure combined with a downstand structure in the middle. Adding downward draw constraints eliminates voids in the structure, resulting in an arch-shaped structure. The corresponding objective function shows jumps in the graph, resulting from material reassembly within the design space during iteration, and leading to a much higher compliance value reached through the optimization. Inducing crossway extrusion constraint produces a structure with constant elevation, also eliminating the downstand structure and resulting in higher compliance value, being however lower than the ones of the downward draw constraint. We would like to thank Professor Sigurd Adriansen and Professor Ergerd Lochner for allowing us to use their material. In case you would like to learn more about bridge design and optimization, the entire report can be found in the Altair Academic blog at www.alteruniversity.com.